Hey there, Simi into it here. Okay, I'm going to do a quick demonstration just to show you something that I've set up myself and it's something you can set up and it's really easy to do. Now, as you can see, you can see my tablet, you can see my phone and you can see my Echo Show. Down here, I have a dash button or an IoT button and I've set it up so that well, basically, I'm going to press it and I'm going to show you what it does. Now, it's going to take a couple of seconds to do the demonstration, but basically, I've set it up as a panic or an alert button. So if I press the button, you can see that it is now flashing. In a few seconds, it'll start flashing red, which it's doing right now. Simeon, your mum's panic button has just been pressed at 11.54 on 16th August 2018. Simeon, mum's room panic button has been pressed. So as you could see, that was really quickly. And it sent a notification through to my mobile phone, so I know that this panic button's been pressed. It sent one through to the tablet, and then it also sent a notification through to the Echo Show. So I've got this set up so that whenever this button's pressed, I know that my mum's panic button's been pressed. I know that she needs assistance. And quite simply, I can go and see, you know, what's wrong at that time. Now I've got these set up all over the house for different things. Now, usually things like dash buttons are used to order products. In my case, I've, you know, converted my dash button to be able to, you know, alert me of events that I need to know about. So because I've got my uncle that lives with me who's got learning disabilities, diabetes and basically, um, you know, kidney failure, there's times that I need to know when he needs assistance. So I've got one of these in his bedroom, I've got them in the bathroom. So if he ever, you know, needs me, then he can push one of these buttons. And in the case like you've seen with my um, dash example for my mum's panic button, I get an alert telling me which panic button's been pressed, what, you know, kind of, I know exactly which button's been pressed. So in this case, this is my mum's dash button. In my uncle's case, it'll be one in the bathroom or his bedroom or, you know, it'll tell me which dash button's been pressed. It'll say, you know, um, bedroom dash button's been pressed, um, toilet dash button's been pressed, whether that's upstairs or downstairs. So I just thought I'd quickly show you this little demonstration of something I've set up. Now, anybody can set something up like this themselves. In my case, I converted a dash button, but you can buy buttons like this that are designed for Internet of Things integrations, but they cost more. But when you think about, you know, what they can enable and enable you to do, you know, the price really shouldn't matter. For a IoT button, it's just short of £23 on Amazon.co.uk. Um, for a dash button, on the other hand, it's just short of £5. And, you know, there's a big difference between prices. So if you set it up the way that I have, you get to save yourself some money. But either way, you can set things up like this to, you know, notify devices that they've been pressed. Now, you're probably wondering how, you know, I got the notification to go through to my Echo Show and my other Echo devices. This video is not long enough to cover all that, um, but it can be done, you know, there's ways to do it. So be inspired by the fact that I've actually done it. And you'll know that if you want to ask me any questions about this, then drop me an inbox message. But I thought I'd just show you this example. You know, sometimes it takes longer, but it only takes a few seconds whenever it's done. So if I press the button again, I press the button, you can see the light goes on. It starts blinking. When it starts blinking red, as it is there, it stopped. Then it sends the notification through to all my devices. Simeon, mum's room panic button has been pressed. And as you can see, notification on the Echo Show, all the Echo devices in the house start telling me that the button's been pressed. And like I say, it's possible to do. You can set it up yourself. And if you have any questions, then just inbox message me. But if this is something you want to set up for a loved one or family that, you know, that you want to keep an eye on, you can put one of these buttons in their home, put them by their bed, put them in the bathroom, put them anywhere where they might have a fall, and then they can press them, can give you a notification, you'll know which room they're in, and then you'll be able to give them assistance. But it's just something that I wanted to set up for myself because I have my own use cases for it. So, you know, I thought I'd show you that I've done it, but it can be done, 
and it's you know one of those things that makes your home a little bit smarter safer and you know helps you look out for those that you care for thanks for watching the video bye for now oh by the way if you've not already done so go to the alexa skills store search simi into it you're going to find videos like this of my demonstrations of you know things i've set up in my smart home you'll also find audios that i've put up and you'll just find some skills that i've put up at the moment i've got about 29 skills and counting going up and you know some of them are smart home related others are just you know self-help self-development that you can use and they're all free so go check them out that's simian to it in the skills store check out my skills bye for now